Continuous three-minute shot that redefines the artistic and technical capabilities of animation. There's no cut, nothing to, to bring you out of that world, where we fly through all of the, the major landmarks and uh, places of nature within the Wild West, and almost all of the environments are done using 3D techniques. But then we've integrated 2D characters and other elements into it to make you feel like they're all part of the same world. We actually spent almost nine months just designing the camera move for the shot before we started actually producing the elements for it. And that was so we made sure we got it right because we knew how complicated it would be to change it after the fact. When you see Spirit running with his herd and they go up onto this bluff and the camera does this 360 degree camera move around Spirit, some of that is computer generated and seamlessly moves into James Baxter's animation. Uh, and a lot of artists worked really hard to get that. In Spirit, the effects were very naturalistic. So, you know, there's a lot of organics, water, fire, dust. You know, a lot of organic effects and large volumes of them. So most of our work was creating natural phenomenon. Mist, snow, star twinkles. It just adds a little bit to the traditionally drawn animation. One of the, the films that I think is, is sort of one of the action dramatic high points of the film is the sequence we call Saving Rain. Both of the main characters are swept down river rapids, while the majority of the characters in the sequence are hand-drawn traditionally. A lot of the environments and the effects are produced using digital techniques and then they integrated with additional 2D work as well. This is another um, traditionally drawn uh, effects animation of kind of like a splash from the top down and that that's actually what we use to get all this real soft looking foam on the surface and in order to kind of pull the audience into that we took a, a cinematography style which is very kind of live action feeling we used all digital sets so that we could get in there and, and move through them in a three-dimensional way and try to put the camera right down on the water like the whole thing was being shot by a raft that's floating down the river with them so it all has a kind of a handheld feel to it. It's all very dramatic and, and has a lot of movement to it, which is really exciting. Being able to um, create effects that fit into some of these beautifully painted backgrounds and with some of this amazing animation, to just know all of the people that are crafting all of this and putting it together and how much thought goes into every scene, it, it's, um, it's quite awe-inspiring, actually. I will miss you, my friend. I just really think people are going to be... Uh be moved by what they see and, uh, and transported, and that's really the best thing that a movie can do. It's the best of both worlds. If there's one theme or moral that I, I, I hope this film conveys, and that is that freedom is everyone's birthright, and that it's worth fighting for that freedom. Spirit that could not be broken. <laughs> I think that uh, when you, for any of us in life, when we face adversity, <laughs> We achieve incredible things, and ultimately, it's what defines us. It, it makes us who we are. Well, it's it's about having your own individuality and finding yourself. I think that's what this film's about, and having a giggle along the way.